My winning moment is a concept born from our desire to connect and engage with the end users of our products. As a medical device company, our marketing efforts are typically targeted towards doctors, clinicians, and other healthcare professionals. But we know there are so many amazing stories behind every individual that our products ultimately help. As a growing communication channel, social media has opened up a way for us to be in direct contact with amputees and their families around the world. We wanted to create a forum for people to showcase their stories and engage with the Usher brand. The idea was a winning moment, a winning moment from their daily life, like being able to pick up a soda can with a prosthetic hand, ride a water slide, go back on roller skates, ski, cheerlead, swimming, and whatever the heart desires, even just to the basic steps of having to learn how to function again in life after losing a limb. Everyone, everyone has a winning moment. A campaign like this isn't really something that had been done before, so we had to really carefully consider whether there would be any cultural or legal complications, for example. We wanted to be sure not to exclude anyone, regardless of the products they were using, their age, gender, or nationality. And for an exciting twist, we decided the winner would receive a trip to Iceland, where it just so happens that our head office is located. We created a specific microsite for the campaign and various posts for social media to promote the contest over the course of a few months' time. After my accident, some people thought that I wouldn't be able to work as a model again. And then I realized, this is me. I am beautiful, I am confident, I can do whatever I want. This is my winning moment. What's yours? We first promoted the contest among our own brand ambassadors, amputees from all over the world and all walks of life who work with OSER and we encourage those ambassadors to share and spread the word in their social media networks. In the past, I've been told many things. You cannot be independent. You cannot be fast. You cannot be a model. You will need help. Your word never away. But you know what? I did not listen. The response was overwhelming. Each day we literally awoke to new entries that were more captivating than the next. We were over the moon. Our internal jury had the difficult job of selecting 10 finalists. And those 10 finalists were then sent to an external jury of five people located around the world. The external jury was asked to vote according to criteria which included story, photo composition, and various other factors. The winning video was by Alex Schwartz, a bilateral amputee from the United States. The human body is like this extremely complex building of all sorts of different mechanisms. And somehow it's so fragile but it can also adapt in extreme situations that don't even make any sense, but somehow it still works out. And I think it's kind of an ironic thing that it's to a point where I'm able to walk because they amputated my feet. What really keeps me going is the fact that I am still here, I am still breathing. Keep your drive, keep that motivation going, and keep your faith and hope. No matter what, it's going to lead to a better life. The next big thing for you could just be something very beautiful. And the next big thing for me was this trip to Iceland with Oser. When 
I submitted to this contest, I definitely did not think that somebody like me was going to be able to experience this amazing time on this island out here with such an amazing company. This experience summed up in one word would have to just be breathtaking. Breathtaking is one word, isn't it? <laughs> we at Usher are used to seeing people live life without limitations every day. That's what we strive to do. That's what our products are there for. But not everyone has even seen an amputee. And through this campaign, we gave amputees all over the world a voice and a platform to share their stories, their amazing accomplishments, and to really break down the barriers between disability and ability, because there are none. And that's what we're all about. <laughs>